personally, I, I have no idea how many horses I've ridden in my life or worked with in some capacity. As far as starting out, I hear tell that my riding days began first trimester. My mom rode while she was pregnant with me and my two sisters. They grew up on horses. They all loved them. At a young age, when you do that, you just have an innate feeling of what the horse is going to do and how to ride. and It just comes with the territory if you grow up doing it. Clint Surplus's life work has changed a lot of horses. In the process, horses have changed him. I started my first colt when I was, I want to say, about 11. Then I, I rode my first colt for hire. Must have been when I was 12 or 13. But until you've ridden a horse that has a more sophisticated training level, you don't know what that feels like. When Clint was a young man, he worked for a large ranch in Southeast Oregon. There he discovered horses trained to a high degree for the roping and riding of ranch work, known as bridle horses, trained in the vaquero tradition. Vaqueros were expert riders from the era of the Spanish haciendas. Their name came from the word vaca, Spanish for cow. They were the original cowboys of the West. The traditions go back centuries, and yet the tools have not been improved upon. The ornate spade bit is the symbol of the bridle horse. This is what the horses are ultimately being trained to use. The large, flat part of the bit is shaped like a shovel or a spade. In the wrong hands, it can apply harsh pressure to the horse's mouth. But the Baquero tradition is not about using force on a horse's mouth to make it move. Rather, to form a connection with the horse's mind. This subtle melding of minds involves no bit at all and begins in the round pen. The round pen helps you to connect with the horse's mind. We're not forcing the horse to stop or turn or go fast. We're communicating in a very subtle and nearly imperceptible way to the horse. Being a prey animal and a herd animal gives them a very complex set of instincts. And we have to learn how to work with them within their instincts. I want to build the kind of bond between me and my horse where the, my horse doesn't want to leave me. Drawing the horse in and, and letting them be with us and be comfortable develops trust from the horse. Ride right in tight behind me. The vaquero skills came from cattle work. Clint's daughter Sadie and son Kaysen help move cattle to new pasture. Sadie, you stop about right there at that dry spot. Kaysen, you start riding along the fence there, trying to peel him off the fence. When I was about to become a father, I was confident that my experience with horses was going to help me better raise my kids. Watch that one in the back, Sadie. But what I didn't anticipate was that being a father helped me become a better horseman. I softened. And just let him file through. And that softness goes farther with a horse than harshness. When you're riding a horse that you're just really in sync with, it's harmony. And, and that's the essence of a vaquero-style bridle horse. My horses don't have the sting they once had. They don't have the snappiness that they once had but they have a calmness and a confidence that they didn't once have. And there's a beauty in that.
Great people just doing their thing in their own Northwesty way. We love bringing you stories like this. Support what you love. opb.org slash video.